Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. Yesterday, I got a call from a dear friend of mine who told me that he is shifting from Toronto to Calgary. I then realized that in the past one year or so, I got to know at least about five people who did the same and two of them who moved from Vancouver to Calgary. So why is it so that Calgary is becoming such an attractive city for people who are living around Greater Toronto area or maybe even Vancouver? So in this video, we'll talk exactly about that, but I don't want it to be a one-sided conversation. So we'll talk about the cons of moving to Calgary as well so that you can make a wise decision. While many people might have their own reasons of uh, moving from Toronto to Calgary, one of the most important reasons that everyone would consider is the cost of living. Cost of living in Toronto is so high these days, especially because of the real estate, whether you're renting out or you want to buy a property there, it's very, very difficult. It's almost getting impossible. But if you're gonna live in Calgary, the cost of living is actually a lot cheaper. Whether you compare it with Toronto or with Vancouver, Calgary is way more affordable. Of course, when you talk about cost of living, the most important chunk that we actually pay through our salaries every month is either the rent or maybe your mortgage. So we'll talk about the real estate, which is probably the biggest difference maker, which is actually the deal maker when we talk about Calgary versus Toronto or Vancouver in that matter as well. So let's say you're a new immigrant and you want to get a rental place in Calgary or in Toronto, while in Calgary, you would get a one bedroom apartment somewhere near the downtown Calgary at around $1,200 only. In downtown Toronto, you can get it in around $2,100. Now, of course, plus minus $100 to $150, but that is the price of Toronto. If you wanna get a two bedroom apartment in Calgary, then you would get it in around $1,600 while in Toronto or Vancouver as well, you'd get it at least in around $2,500. It is way more expensive than Calgary. Now, once you have spent some time in Canada, in any of these cities, you would definitely want to buy a house. And if you're one of those people, then it would be very shocking for you to know that the prices in Calgary are actually around one third of what you would find in Toronto. So let's say that you want to get a detached house. In that case, you can find that easily somewhere around 550,000 or maybe 600,000 in Calgary in a very decent uh, location near the downtown Calgary. While if you talk about Toronto or maybe Vancouver, both Toronto and Vancouver are actually the most expensive cities of Canada. And if you want to get a home, a detached home in Toronto, you might not even be able to find it in $1.5 million. So the type of home that you would find in $600,000 in Calgary, you might not even find that in $1.5 million in Toronto. Calgary is much, much more cheaper and you can definitely buy a property, even if you're a new immigrant, maybe after spending few months in Calgary. Okay, now the second point when we talk about the cost of living is the sales tax. In Calgary, actually in all of Alberta, it's just 5%, while in Ontario, it's 13%, which means that anything you buy, let it be grocery, clothes, electronics, anything, you would actually be paying 13% on that particular thing, while you would pay only 5% tax in Calgary. So in a way, you can say that you will get 8% discount on everything that you buy in Calgary versus in Toronto. Now it might not be a deal breaker for some people, but who does not like to pay less for the same product if you're getting it in a different city? Okay, now talking about cost of living, I wanna add one more point, which is about the gas prices. So just a couple of minutes ago, I checked the price of gas in Costco, Toronto, and it was $1.65, while in Costco, Calgary, it is around $1.35. So at least a difference of 30 cents in every liter of gas that you get. 
So of course, when you combine the savings to that 8% sales tax and the difference in uh, gas prices, you would actually end up saving around two to three thousand dollars extra every year if you're living in Calgary versus in Toronto, excluding the rent. In a nutshell, just to compare the cost of living in the two cities, if you want to maintain a certain life standard, you have to pay six thousand five hundred dollars in Toronto, while you would save around eight hundred dollars every month while you're living in Calgary. And if you actually multiply that for a period of 12 months, it would be something around $10,000. It makes a big difference. While cost of living was the biggest factor, of course, there are other reasons why people move to Calgary as well. One of the biggest factor being jobs. So Calgary actually is rich in oil and gas, and that's what drives the economy of Calgary. So many people who belong to that particular sector would find jobs very easily in Calgary than in Toronto. But apart from that as well, uh, in fintech, in finance and technology sectors, Calgary is a booming economy and there are many jobs available. And because of a lesser number of immigrants who specialize in fintech, because most people actually come to Toronto and Vancouver. So of course, there are many requirements, many unfulfilled uh, job opportunities in Calgary. And uh, many people who have Canadian experience who have been working in Toronto or Vancouver, they get jobs at higher wages in Calgary. So my friend who was actually getting around 100K in Toronto would now be getting $127,000 annual package in Alberta in Calgary. So of course that was a big reason why he is actually moving and similarly for other people as well. Uh, it's a big factor but having said that fintech if you belong to fin finance and uh, you know technology sector if maybe you belong to uh, sales and marketing you know there are of course more jobs in Toronto but yes Calgary is also booming in the in that sense as well all right now talking about the next point the lifestyle and the vibe so if you are a person who likes the hustle and bustle of a busy city then Toronto is the right one for you but if you are a person who loves to be in a quite a calmer kind of a place then you would like Calgary more because the population density of Calgary is actually much much lower than Toronto. Toronto is very populated so when you go to downtown Toronto maybe you go to a you know shopping mall maybe you uh, you know use the public transport you'll always find crowd there but Calgary you won't find that. I was there in Calgary in last summers it was a quite a happy kind of a uh, vibe. It was definitely not that busy how we see everything in around Toronto area. For my last point, I want to ask you a question. Are you a mountain person or are you a beach person? If you're a mountain person, you'll love Calgary. You'll fall in love with that place because Banff, Jasper, so many different provincial uh, parks are actually around Calgary it's just like a couple of hours drive so Banff downtown it's a beautiful beautiful town there uh, in the mid of Rocky Mountains you'll reach there in less than two hours drive from downtown Calgary and you talk about Lake Moraine Lake Louise all those famous beautiful attractions Rocky Mountains so many different tourist attractions in Jasper National Park and Banff National Park all of those are pretty easily reachable from Calgary. It won't be wrong to say that if you want a beautiful weekend gateway, then Calgary is the place if you are a mountain guy. All right, guys, so those were definitely some of the reasons why people are choosing Calgary over Toronto. But of course, there are some drawbacks of living in Calgary as well. The foremost being the weather. So when we talk about Canada, we know the cold, harsh weather. And in Calgary, it gets brutally cold. Uh, I don't know if brutally is a word, but you get the sense, right? So in Calgary, probably for two to three weeks of time, you would easily see a weather of minus 35, minus 40 degrees Celsius temperature. 
while in Toronto you would see something around minus 15 or minus 20 while both of them are pretty harsh but of course minus 40 is much more difficult to handle than minus 20 in both of these weathers you would actually be need to bundle up uh, do a lot of layerings but it would be very difficult for you to you know go out in that kind of a weather in Calgary however they say that that harsh weather actually remains for around one month or so but that one month is very very horrible and people who don't like cold you would definitely hate being in Calgary during that month maybe in January somewhere in February all right now the other reason of course as I told you earlier if you're a beach person you would love Toronto Calgary hasn't got uh, many beaches as such uh, but if you are around Toronto then you would be surrounded by so many beaches Toronto itself has got so many beautiful beaches but if you want to drive one or two hours from Toronto you'll find so many different beaches and they're all so beautiful that probably you'll feel uh, like every weekend when you go to summers you can actually cover a different beach every weekend there's so many different beaches in and around Toronto and of course when you talk about that if you like the hustle and bustle of a busy city then you will definitely like Toronto being in downtown Toronto you'll always find it so busy people are always moving from here and there the local transport the shopping malls the restaurants are always crowded and especially after Covid um, you know all the lockdowns are over now when we go to Toronto it's so 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 happening so if you're a person who likes to stay in a place which is more happening more crowded then Toronto is the place that you would love now talking about the last point which is the job opportunities of course this is a point where Calgary gets beaten at times yes Calgary has got a booming uh, fintech sector but apart from that there are more job opportunities in Toronto than in any other city across Canada. So that is the reason why Toronto and the Greater Toronto Area becomes the first choice of immigrants. But as and when they come here, they spend some time, they realize that uh, they can get a job easily. But spending is so difficult, getting a home is so difficult. That is when people say that, okay, I'm done with Toronto. Now let's move to Calgary. So that's it for this video, guys. Those were some of the main points why people choose Calgary over Toronto. And we also discussed some of the drawbacks that you will definitely face if you are moving from Toronto to Calgary. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any comments, any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.